Hey Fruitbats, so I just want to talk quickly about the new Taylor Swift song, Blank Space, because it kind of got me thinking about my past relationships and how it can be a bit of a mess, definitely. And in this video, Taylor kind of mocks her ex relationships and, you know, jealousy factor and how that can really like take over a relationship and it can make you go psycho and basically lose your mind. And I can just, I can imagine how hard it must be for someone who is as famous as her to date because if they date outside of the celebrity circle then they're probably thinking oh is this person just with me for my money for my fame or whatever they really want to be with me are they going to spill all my secrets if we break up are they going to write a tell-all book and then for her to date within that celebrity circle must be difficult because there's a lot of fakeness a lot of drugs a lot of glitz and glamour a lot, all that hollywood stuff and dating guys who have a million girls throwing themselves at him all this temptation so getting a genuine connection must be difficult. So Taylor was giving us an insight into her life, her ex-relationships and how volatile they were. And it actually made me think of an ex-boyfriend who I had to get a restraining order against. He actually held me hostage in his place and he beat me up and he basically beat me up on several occasions and it got really, really messy. It was in a period of my life where we were taking drugs. We were not stable. We were living an unhealthy lifestyle and he was very, very jealous. And, you know, although he was like a fantastic guy in a lot of ways, I'm definitely glad I got away from him. And Taylor's song definitely reminded me of that situation. And, you know, like the video, the story starts off where she's all in love and it's like a fairy tale. They can't love each other anymore. And then things start to go downhill and it's to do with jealousy. She beats up the car. She stabs a cake as you do and you know she what does she do she cuts up his clothing all that sort of stuff and I can definitely relate to those feelings of anger I can be one spicy bitch that's for sure I mean everybody can get angry that's a natural emotion I think when it gets to the point where you're psycho it's taking over your life it's unhealthy you want to kill people then you've got to take a step back and go, all right, what is going on in my life? What am I doing wrong? Address your diet and lifestyle. And some of you might be like, your diet doesn't matter. Oh yeah, it matters to your brain chemistry. It matters to how you deal with your emotions, with that emotion of depression and anger. It matters, okay? It matters what you put in your mouth. So addressing your diet and lifestyle is mega, mega important. And it's also important to get purpose in your life so you're happy within yourself so you're not projecting onto others because that's often what happens with people who aren't happy. Then they get angry and they put it onto others when it's really their own stuff they need to deal with. So some people say that Taylor's song is encouraging women to be psycho. Here's a comment from Natasha. Taylor Swift being a psycho makes me want to be a psycho. Okay, well, that's disturbing. Does it encourage women to be psychos? Well, I'm not exactly sure about that. What do you think? Leave your comments down below. Do you think it's encouraging women, women to be psychopaths? And also there's lyrics in the song, boys only want love if it's torture. So boys, what do you think about that? Do you like torture in a relationship? Do you want it to be balanced? Do you want it to be painful? Let me know in the comments below. I want to hear your stories of you know, your past relationships, if you've had a similar experience to Taylor, let's get a bit of a dialogue happening. Personally, in a relationship, I like a bit of spice. I like a little bit of danger, a little bit of adventure, but also at the same time, balanced and carved up. And something else I'm thinking is Taylor is probably doing a Miley Cyrus and trying to shake off her good girl image with this video. Okay, fruit bats, so don't forget to go fruit or root yourself. I'll see you tomorrow.